Well, it's hard to believe, but today, Tuesday, the final padded practice of New Orleans Saints training camp inside here at the Oshner Sports Performance Center. That's Aaron Summers. I'm Todd Graffinini. It is the New Orleans Saints training camp report here on your view. Aaron, it's hard to believe, but the rigors of training camp are pretty much over as we start to look towards the regular season. But today, the final padded practice, and you've got that preseason game coming up on Friday against the Chargers. But I think they're getting ready to go here in the New Orleans Saints facility. Big question mark is going to be whether or not we see quarterback Jameis Winston in that preseason game. Head coach Dennis Allen has said we'll see. So he's leaving that one out there. But good news, we saw Winston out here on the practice field today in team drills. Again, he was moving very well, scrambling out of the pocket at times. So it was good to see him after having a few missteps yesterday, really settling in in today's practice. Here's head coach Dennis Allen. You'd have to ask him, you know, exactly where he's at. But I feel... Um, I thought today he looked really good, you know, so in terms of is it a sign where he feels he's at? I don't know that. I do know that it was encouraging to me. Well, Aaron, speaking of team drills, we saw defensive end Marcus Davenport for the first time during all of training camp participating in team drills. And that's really been the pattern here throughout. Doesn't matter who has been coming off of injury. It has been the ramp up process, but it is very good news to see Davenport this late in camp now participating in team. Davenport has been working back from that shoulder injury, the one that he had surgery on early in this year. And it's been a conditioning thing for Davenport, just getting back into the speed of the game, feeling ready to go and getting comfortable with the play calls, everything that they're doing at the line there. Good to see him back in that role today. Here's DA on having Davenport back. Where I want him to be, I mean, certainly I'd love for, you know, for him to be taking all the reps. But yeah, he's he's making progress. Um, and so I feel like that's it's a step in the right direction. Um, we still got a little ways before we open up the season, so there's still some time to kind of get him ready. But that was good to um, you know, get him into a couple of team team drills today. Well, Aaron, sticking with the defensive theme, safety, Tyran Matthew had an outstanding day during practice, had a big pick on Jameis Winston to end the two-minute drill on fourth down, and he also had a PBU against Deontay Hardy. But slowly but surely, the Honey Badger is getting up to speed in this scheme. After safety Tyron Matthew joined the team over this summer, he has been here for a lot of that summer OTA work, mini camp. He did miss a couple days during regular training camp, didn't come in to start the team training camp with them. So he's still getting used to the system, getting comfortable, but he definitely seemed like he was settling in today with that really nice interception in the end zone. Over the past three years, he's had 13 interceptions, 26 overall in his career. So it's definitely something that he can do and that the team hopes that he brings. Here's DA. Man, Tyron made a couple of really nice plays today. And so that was that was that was good to see. I think he's kind of beginning to get a little more comfortable in uh, what we're doing and, and, and what we're asking him to do. Well we've talked about the nicks and bruises of position groups during training camp and that is a normal thing. But one of those positions has been linebacker. Where we've seen a steady stream of linebackers come in. One of those really signed last week before the Green Bay practices was 10-year veteran John Bostic. And he not only appeared in those joint practices, Aaron, but he played in the preseason game against the Packers. But to his credit, he has stayed ready. And when the Saints called, he was here ready to go. Here's John Bostic. You know, it hasn't been a hard transition. It's actually been kind of easy for me. It's just when everything they've kind of thrown at me, I've picked up, uh, you know, playing, you know, all the positions they've asked me to play. Uh, you know, I've been around, you know, I've had, you know, good teachers, you know, from Little League to high school to college. Um, you know, and since I've been in the NFL, like I've had a lot of good teachers uh, that, you know, they don't just teach you, you know, the, the names of the plays and everything, they teach you the concepts. So if you can understand the concepts in between, you know, the plays, um, it makes it that easier to pick up because, you know, what we call red here, we might just call it blue, you know, in Washington or, you know, other, any other places. So. You know, like I said, transition's been easy. And then, you know, obviously, you know, it's, it's a lot of good coaches on the staff, like really, really good, you know, and that's, you know, I definitely mean that because um, to be able to kind of break stuff down, you know, how they do, uh, you know, like you got a lot of guys that come from a lot of different places and kind of, you know, put a scheme together and, uh, you know, lets the guys uh, play fast. I think he's picked up what we're doing 
uh, pretty well. We brought him in here, I, I guess, it, first day in here was on Monday. We didn't even practice, and then next thing you know, he's out there practicing against uh, Green Bay. So I thought overall, and I think overall, he's done a pretty nice job of picking things up. Um, I, there's just something about you know that veteran presence that that uh, that I kind of like. Well, the team back at it tomorrow right here inside at the Oshner Sports Performance Center, our final practice before preseason game number three, Friday night, 7 o'clock in the Caesar Superdome against the L.A. Chargers. For Aaron Summers, I'm Todd Graffanini. We'll see you tomorrow for another edition of the New Orleans Saints Training Camp Report.